Illustrator has a transparency grid. Photoshop has a transparency grid. So InDesign must have one, right? Sorry, but it does not. Now I do have a tip. It's kind of dumb, but it might help. Let's open up Window, Color, Swatches. Now InDesign contains, by default, a swatch called Paper. It's designed to simulate the color of whatever you are printing on, which is generally white. It does not print itself, and it is an on screen preview only feature. So if you want to know what parts of your InDesign document are transparent, temporarily change the color of paper by double clicking on it. Let's bring the magenta all the way up, and any areas that are transparent are now showing up as pink. If I cancel out of here, paper returns to white, as do the transparent areas. Now let's double click to get back in there. And let's, for example, push this up to yellow. Again, the transparent areas go that color. If I now choose OK, paper will remain as that color, and any transparent areas will remain as that color. We can continue to design like this, and when we want to return paper to white, simply double click on it again, set it to white, OK, and we are done. So yes, we'd all prefer a transparency grid here inside of InDesign, but I hope this tip can help you out. Catch you later.